I'm Jack Tomzak. That's Andrew Lee. Woo-hoo. It's That's Friday. Friday. It is Friday. Ooh, it's Friday, everybody. Thank goodness. This week did seem to kind of go by quickly, though. It seems a little abbreviated. Did yeah. You did an hour like, less of the show than everybody else. Well, it's like, it's like two so. segments. <laughs> so there was that. Like nine minutes plus 13 I feel like minutes. I only did about 95% of yeah. the show this week. Let's make that a thing. Make, <laughs> make that in the new country. As long as I know it in advance, yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't know what we're yelling about! I didn't know in advance. <laughs> in fact, I knew after you knew <laughs> that's that true. I was going to I uh, found out miss the beginning of that show. Why did you tell you? me? <laughs> Next time I will. Mm-hmm. Next time I'll be better about that. On the show today, we'll give folks a uh, longer opportunity than we did yesterday to comment, call in and comment on the Jamar Clark situation. Mike Freeman, of course, two days ago announcing that he will not be charging the two officers involved in the shooting. Mm-hmm. Nick Zerwas will be third wheeling at 7 o'clock, though he's always early, and we'll, uh, Nick will join us for that conversation. But, and we're aware of it this week, which is good. That, that Nick that showed he's up? coming. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's just make that as like Nick is here on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. We'll uh, always expect him. And unless uh, the show gets completely out of my control and uh, the Jamar Clark issue goes beyond its allotted time. Which is possible. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, Susan Sarandon being an idiot. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. People, uh, people that formerly supported her, formerly were fans mm-hmm. of her, formerly mm-hmm. would applaud her political stances and leanings and the things she would stand up for and fight for. They now think she's an idiot. Ah, ah. right, right. Ah. You, got, you got people like the Daily Coast crowd and the, you know, the lefty bloggers and liberal pundits writing articles that are titled things like "Susan Sarandon is a privileged idiot." Mm. Because she has an opinion that they mm-hmm. suddenly now don't mm-hmm. agree with. You married to Tim Robbins or not? <laughs> Nobody's sure. What is it? <laughs> Come on. What do you call that thing? So, yeah, there's a... I, I think it's funny. And it's it's funny, but it's also telling because mm-hmm. all the focus this election cycle is about how there's such a rift amongst Republicans and conservatives, right. the right is split. It's divided. Can they can they ever come together? Can they ever unite? Mm-hmm. Are they going to be able to unite behind the eventual nominee? That's what everybody's talking about. Mm-hmm. But everybody's ignoring the giant rift on the left as yeah. well. It's there too. Yeah. It's not m- maybe quite as pronounced. And, and the way I the way I figure, it's the, the the left is about one or two election cycles behind the right in terms of that split within the party okay. of people that are tired of the status quo, tired of electing mm-hmm. Democrats that, in their mind, don't deliver yeah. on the things that they want. Yeah. Because they've got that problem on the left just as much, if not more so, than on the right. I've got some friends who are Bernie Sanders supporters who hate Hillary Clinton more than anybody I know on the right. Yep. And yep. that's great. I think it's wonderful. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of that going on. Mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton is going to have a very tough time uh, getting the real grassroots, passionate Sanders supporters uh, to they, show uh, up for her in November. Criminally insane. <laughs> well, maybe insane. I don't know yeah. if they're criminally insane. Well, once if they can't take <laughs> your stuff through law, they'll just take it. They'll just take it. And at 8.15, we'll talk with us. What a super Tuesday! <laughs> <laughs> Just can't hurt. wait for her State of the Union address. Man, it just hurts. Oh, gonna... Do you think it'll be that weird screaming the state tone? State of the though. Union is wonderful. <laughs> fly, fly. <laughs> Wizard of Oz reference. At eight fifty, we'll talk with Phil Rosensky. Uh, he's the policy chair for the American Progressive Bag Alliance. So we're going to spend an hour talking about a the police in Minneapolis shooting a man, uh, whether or not they should have, the events that led up to that, very serious issues. And then we've got to take everybody's time, including Phil Rosensky's, to talk about Minneapolis wanting to ban plastic bags. It's like, there's real issues out there. Government, mm-hmm. leave people in their bags alone. Just leave them alone. He'll be calling in. Then, and of course, your parody song contest at 840. Prize for that. Is a four pack of tickets to see Marvel at the at the Target Marvel Target Center. yeah Marvel Universe Mar- Live Marvel Universe Live yeah. yeah 
Is this on ice or not? It is, is not, not on, on ice. ice. Okay. <laughs> well, there was some confusion we internally yesterday. Some, we didn't know. And when we say internally, for some reason, I thought it was on ice. <laughs> I, 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 and nobody here thought nobody that that else. was the I didn't question like, it. Of course like, it is. Like, that wasn't anywhere. I didn't it read that be. anywhere. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> absolutely. Why not? That, that's I mean, I'm a not, show that, I could, that, that it could happen. Sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not, not? I'm not saying that it's not on ice. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We know that it's just not specified. So you go see marvel maybe on ice possibly we don't know i don't know depends on the weather <laughs> so very song contest 840 and that's the prize uh yeah it, it's a good one this week too it's uh it's always a good one it's april fool's day so don't believe anything anybody tells you mm-hmm. just don't, don't we have uh, we have no pranks <sighs> shenanigans <laughs> planned. Still early Andrew. my kids were Before off the show today off of school this week i did not have the time or patience uh, that's your april fool's any... joke <laughs> here's your children uh, oh they're so cute though so but i did i googled april fool's day today to, to uh see what else is out there and see if i need anything for the last three minutes of this first segment and i came across an article uh 10 stories that look like pranks that aren't Mm-hmm. Is this a non-mandatory list? Oh, right. This is uh, completely optional. <laughs> a voluntary list. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, this is through the, from the BBC. <laughs> or is it Andrew putting you yeah. up to this? This is list by consent. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing on this list is transparent wood. Now, these are 10 stories that are not are pranks. not pranks at least today but they would find out tomorrow think that they would be transparent wood could soon replace glass in some windows swedish researchers have engineered the non-shattering material by stripping out the component that makes wood brown and replacing it with acrylic the wood could let in light while still maintain privacy for residents and some googling there's other articles about this i'm going to assume it's not bs there are some pictures transparent wood hmm. How cool is that? That's pretty neat. And on Monday, what we're like, that oh, that story about transfer wood. That wasn't true. <laughs> no, the internet lied to you. Is that, I mean, why, why transparent it, yeah, wood? Yeah, how do they make I it transparent? I, 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 30 seconds ago, I learned of this. Okay. Is I don't it know. Wood? I remember when, uh, when Harry Potter was all the rage, there were some stories about there, out there about how scientists, like, had been able to develop something similar to, you know, the invisibility cloak from, from movies. You mm-hmm. have to put the yeah. thing on and you're invisible. They, they were able to develop some sort of material that calling it an invisibility cloak is obviously not quite accurate. Sure. But it was a, you know, it was a type of material that it was reflective mm-hmm. and it could make you seem kind of invisible in a room because of the way it would reflect the other sure. surfaces around sure. That was pretty neat. More so maybe like it's similar uh, to that. Uh, uh, the, how the predator is invisible. That right. that type of invisibility. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, apparently, there's uh, canned cheese. Now. Ew. Uh, like Why is that ew? I mean, it's just cheese. It's, it's, it's in a can. It's like a nozzle. Yeah. Okay. Man, transparent wood. Uh huh. Invis- invisibility cloak. And I'm, can- canned cheese. I'm in favor huh? of any cheese huh? delivery device. Yeah. Canned like, aerosol, and it's fast, whatever, it's aerosol, Ziploc geez. bag, yeah. you know, I don't like care. Some type of like inhaler. Mace, but, yeah, like, but yeah, cheese. cheese mace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, they sprayed me with the cheese spray. It was delicious. <laughs> I mean, that's so a way to I settle stopped committing a, the crime. Yeah, that's a way to calm down an unruly crowd. Just spray, like, him with, spray him with cheese spray. It'll be like, oh, this is nice. Like, what are you doing? Is this, is this cheese? Mm, I suddenly mm. don't know why I was angry. It'll taste like brie. People will be so confused. <laughs> All right, boss man, what is at the top of the news bag? Uh, we're going to uh, get some updates on the Jamar Clark incident, or on the Mike Freeman decision, and more accurately. Got a couple updated stories on that, plus uh, some stories out of the St. Paul schools. Uh, update on a story we covered earlier this week about a teacher that was assaulted. All that and more when we return.